Welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm reviewing Arizona Wildcats 24, Mississippi State Bulldogs 31 in college football 2023 week two. You can wrap this one in maroon and white. Mississippi State wins in overtime. They had a really good lead at the half going into the third quarter. Then it gets chipped away at. They go to overtime. They get their touchdown. And luckily, the referees do decide in our favor. One yard short or inches short wins us the game. First quarter as follows. Scores are as follows. Tulu Griffin with a 23-yard touchdown catch. Makes his way to the end zone to make it 0-7 Mississippi State. Woody Marks with a one-yard touchdown run. Punches it in to make it 0-14, and that's the way the first quarter would end. Jaden Delora with a one-yard touchdown run. I thought he was stood up. I thought he was one yard short there to end the half. But no, they give him a touchdown 7-14. Tulu Griffin with a 15-yard touchdown catch. Breaks and gets into the end zone to make it 7-21. Jacob Cowan with a 17-yard touchdown catch. To make it 14 to 21 at the end of three. Of course, Ferry missed a field goal that could have given us a three extra point, three extra points, and not had to worry about overtime, but it didn't happen that way. Fourth quarter, Tetaroa McMillan, 11 yard touchdown catch, put his foot out of bounds, comes back in, but they call it a touchdown, 21 21. Cal Ferry with a 36 yard field goal to make it 21 24. Tyler Loop answers back with another, with his own 36-yard field goal to make it 24-24 with time expiring. They kick the ball, goes to a touchback. State chooses to kneel it. They go end of regulation 24-24. Overtime. Jeffrey Pittman gets the end around, a 29-yard pitch to him, turns that into a 29-yard receiving touchdown, no flags. 24-31, Mississippi State. Ferry gets the extra point. They kick the extra point. Arizona gets the ball. Arizona, two incomplete passes. And then they get pushed back. And then Jaden Delora almost gets sacked to end the game, but he breaks the sack, runs the ball, almost to the first down marker, but he's just a couple of inches short. They review it for what seems like 10 minutes. They say, nope, Jaden Delora did not cross that plane of the first down line, the first down marker. Mississippi State, game over. Mississippi State wins, turnover on downs. Mississippi State wins 24-31, to and they get their second win of the season. And it wasn't very easy. Wasn't very easy. Mississippi State should have won this by more. They should have won this by more. They should have played tougher. Offensively, my God, offensively, they should have let Will Rogers throw it more. They basically just said, hey, we're going on the ground and maybe throwing a couple of screens. Mike Wright comes in and they know exactly what he's there for. He has to hand it off. He can't get no yards. Should try to let him throw the ball a couple of times too, just in case. The second half Mississippi State, this is probably the lowest amount of passes Will Rogers ever thrown in a game as a starter. And to me, it's like you could have had him throw more. Like, Arizona was on us after this first half. The second half, defensively, they just sent everybody. Because either they were going to stop the run or get a sack. And it worked. State did have some drives where they sustained some movement forward, but in the end, they still had went three and out, or they missed a field goal, but they couldn't score, except for that one fairy field goal, which luckily kept us in the game. The first half was great for State. I thought the first half was good. Arizona didn't really understand what we were planning. Arizona was throwing pick after pick after pick, and State did score twice on four of those turnovers. Now, you could say they still should have scored on one more of them. Even if it was a field goal, this wouldn't have mattered. You're right. But they still scored on two of the interceptions. Jaden Delora was throwing pick after pick after pick. 
He still threw a pick late in the game to Jet Johnson. You thought, hey, if State could get this going forward, they end the game. They didn't. They got stopped. Ends up going for a field goal. That stop ends up going into field goal range. They kick a field goal. Arizona sends it to overtime. State choose to kneel it out, go to overtime to get the ball first, and it worked. But again, defensively, State's defense, Arizona had some really good halftime adjustments as well, defense offensively against the Mississippi State defense. Jane Delora started completing his passes, started getting out of the pocket. There was some good runs. Arizona looked like a very good team. They looked like the better team, not the better team overall, but they looked like a way better team than they did last year when we played them in Arizona. They look better. They do have a good season ahead of them, I think, if I'm being completely honest. I will be completely honest and say Arizona has a great season ahead of them. If Jaden Delora could keep playing like this, not the four picks, but the actually making his throws, getting in good positions, pushing his team down the field, they could do well. Arizona, they could have a good season. One and one, they should keep their heads held high. They should have won this game, frankly. Mississippi State got lucky just to make sure that this game didn't go off the rails and they didn't lose. Mississippi State, lucky. Very lucky boys in maroon and white. They were very lucky. Defensively, Jet Johnson had a great game. I think J Jet Johnson, I think Jet Johnson had an amazing game defensively. I think he's the player of the game. Jet Johnson got two interceptions. He was laying the wood. He was tackling people. Tough man. Best defensive player on our team. Nathan Pickering had nothing to do tonight. I didn't hear his name once or even see his name once. Bookie Watson had a couple of tackles. Woody Marks had a good game. Tulu had a good game. Will Rogers, I wish he could have thrown more. I think that would have helped us had we been a little bit more, hey, you could throw, man, you could throw. Because he can. He has the touchdown record. He has the completions record. He has the SEC Passing yards? No, he's on the way for passing yards. Completion record, yes. SEC completions, passing yards for state, touchdowns for state. He has them. And it, it's sad that he is a mid-quarterback. That is true, but he can make his throws. Like, I've never seen Will Rogers lose us a game by himself. Or I should say like this. Yes, he may have thrown a pick. But it's never a obvious pick. It's sort of a hit somebody's hands, fall in the defender hands. Luckily, he didn't do that tonight. I thought Will Rogers was pretty solid. I mean, he didn't really have enough chances to do it, but I thought he was solid when he actually got the throw and had time to throw. So, again, I hope in the LSU game, Will Rogers gets to throw more. That's the way we win, frankly. I think Zach Arnett is pissed right now. And I... not wrong. He should be pissed. He should be pissed. He's going to rip into these guys. I think they'll be better next week. They got the win. That's what matters. Move on. Flush it, sort of. Flush it. Just know you won. Talk about the performance. Don't really focus. I mean, there's not many positives except for the first half, but, you know, flush it and build on it pretty much, which I think against LSU, there will be some tinkering in the lab at the Leo Seal Football Complex. Because they know they got to do better. They know they got to throw the ball. They got to go forward. But in the end, I think this was a good thing. I think this was a good thing in the end for State. They're, they won. One. Two, they realized that Will Rogers, he may be a mid-quarterback, but he still makes his throws most of the time. And if you're playing a team that will probably give you the chance to throw, you throw. You have tight ends for a reason. You still have Tulu. You still have Xavion Thomas. You still have running backs who could be pass catchers. They could still pass the ball. Like, we're legitimately going back to Mullen football with a air raid quarterback. That makes no sense. And I know Mike Wright can't throw either. That's why he's just running and being a trick gadget quarterback, which is stupid because if he can't throw, you know what he's out there for, either to hand it off or run it himself. So they shouldn't have done it as much as they did against Southeastern Louisiana, but they did. So that might not have helped as well. But again, Jet Johnson's man of the match for me, player of the game for me. I think Jet Johnson played a good defensive game. He's probably the best state player who played today. 
Will Rogers looked solid. Woody Marks did what he had to do. Tulu looked solid. But other than that, this was a very damn near, they blew the game damn near. Hopefully they use this and say, you know what? We got to do better. We got to clean this up. Defensively, we got to be tougher. They had a really good, they did what they had to at the end there. They played classic Mississippi State Arnett style defense at the end there. The second half, they were a little bit spongy. But the end there, they buckled down. Play like that for all four quarters. That's what I'm going to say. Offense, let Will Rogers throw. LSU has a weak secondary. If he doesn't throw, we lose the game next week, point blank. I think he can drop dimes on them. But you know what? I think this shows to us that we're not infallible, and I never thought we were. We are the favorite, but we could still lose. We're Mississippi State. But in the end, I still think we're a favorite against LSU. I still think we're the better team overall. If they'll play better. This was a bad game. This was a bad second-half performance. The first half was good enough. Arizona starts making some situation, situational changes. It goes, our, it goes against us, but we still won. We're 2-0. and oh, Good. We're still, I think we're still better than LSU. Just because they hung all that points on Grambling, I still think we're closer to FSU than Grambling. You know? I'm not saying we are FSU. I'm just saying I think we're closer than we are. Yeah. So, we can win. We can win against LSU. I think South Carolina's fraudulent. I think Alabama sucks. We should go 5-0. and oh. We should be, honestly, favorites to go 5-0. and oh. And 6-0 and because Western Michigan, well, you know. We should be favorites to be bowl eligible, by, bowl eligible by week six. That's just facts. Will we, though, is the question. But you know what? The SEC West is open. I still think we could win it. We got to win. That's good. We're second in the West right now. So, yeah, I'm good with it. I'm happy with the performance. I'm not happy with the performance. Let's Let's... I'm happy with a win. I'm happy with the result of the performance. The performance wasn't too great, but we still can wrap it in maroon and white. We move on. The players better be better next week at 11 a.m. They got to have an early wake-up call and an early breakfast. Come on now. Get them going. With that being said, though, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Once subscribe. Send super chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. Put us in play. This shares friends and family. All that great stuff. I shall see you tomorrow for a live watch along and review of El Salvador versus Trinidad and Tobago in the 2023 CONCACAF Nations League, League A, Group A. So there we go. One of the last two days of the match days of uh, Group A, so or League A. And then Tuesday, of course, is Group B's match days. Monday, we're off. Wednesday, Thursday, we're off. Friday, we're off. Saturday, we're back for state TFC. And then Sunday, we got Mexico. We got Mekis football, I think. Uh, Domingo Futbolero. So, there you go. With that being said, state, they won. Let's go. Not too great, but they did what they had to do. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace. See you later.